and she's five strokes back. I mean, I think there wasn't anything lucky at all about that seven down that she shot in round two to move herself from chase card into lead card. She's five strokes back, it's not insurmountable. Own plays her game. You can put her on any course and she's just like, oh yeah, well, I'll figure out how my game suits this course and I'm not gonna adapt the way the other players are because I don't need to. Missy tends to win when she comes into the final round with a lead. So if we're talking about statistics, which we know I probably like to do, I think that Missy Gannon will probably take it down if she plays like she has been playing. Still business Holland, but it's the business Holland who has sent the same three emails to the same person and has not got a response or they're still not doing their job. You know, she and Missy play together all the time. They mention, you know, the smack talk, things like that. I think she's gonna make a run for it tomorrow. Hello and welcome to the front nine of the final round of the 2024 Preserve Championship connected by Microsoft Teams. It's our 11th stop on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And I'm Raven Klein. Mm-hmm. And we're excited to have you for a nice sunny day. Um, a little bit windier conditions, the ground a little bit wet, um, but overall like a really nice day to be out there playing disc golf. Yeah, Minnesota was like, oh, championship Sunday. Let's get rid of all the weather. Mm-hmm. Uh, Missy Gannon leading the way, um, 90% fairway hits, circle tune regulation is at 72% and 83% C1X putting, maintaining a two-stroke lead over Holland Hanley. Holland Hanley with 81% fairway hits, her C2 in regulation a little bit lower than Missy's, but her C1X putting is at 83%. Feeling solid. Holland and Missy both shooting five downs yesterday. Lucky Lorenzen jumping up from chase card. She shot the hot round seven down yesterday. She's 86% hitting the fairway, 67% landing in circle two in regulation and 92% C1X putting. That is solid for two rounds. Wrapping up our lead card, we have Owen Scoggin, 95% on her fairway hits, 53% C2 in regulation and her C1X putting at 78%. Own tied with Maria Oliva, who we watched on the lead card yesterday, both eight down, both seven strokes back of the leader, Missy Gannon. Hole one is a par four, 615 feet. OB line on the left pulled off the water where the tall grass is. Uh, you wanna get your shot as far out here as possible. Um, right or left, both work. You gotta get up and over these trees and this little water channel and kind of crash into the screen. Uh, you can see a lot of straight shots into it, but I think most women throwing kind of a spike hyzer into the green just to make sure they clear those trees. Check out this stat mando fact. Missy's five major and elite wins have come from entering the final round in a lead. So statistically, she's in the lead. She's got a pretty good chance here. Very smooth throw from Missy to start off her final round. Getting good air time. She's gonna hug that right side a little bit, but that doesn't put her out of position at all. Holland had a really clean front nine yesterday. She was five down and was able to actually overtake Missy for a hot second before kind of dropping back down uh, two strokes back. I'm, I'm excited, it should be a good one. Yeah. Low release for Holland off the tee, but she's still going to get a lot of distance out of that throw. Yeah, like, all she needs. Yeah. Next up, let's hear for Lucky Lawrenson. <laughs> Lucky, another teammate of mine on Infinite and Thought Space. Cool that I got to watch both her and Maria this week. Lucky, really smooth game. Doesn't really make a whole lot of mistakes, never seems flustered. And your new yeah, very composed player. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of an extra cheer there for Owen. <laughs> And 
and that's going to work just fine. Consistently, you see Own trying to push herself a little bit more toward the left side than other players are, making her approach shot fit her game. Looks like she can see the flag here and gives it plenty of height. Yeah, really nice shot. Good start from Own. Lucky lining up her second shot, probably taking this wider hyzer approach. No, she went right up the gut. Yeah, fades out a little bit outside the circle, but she is a really good putter. Holland taking the high spike hyzer. This is a great play, because even if you don't do it perfect like, like Holland, <laughs> You can crash land into any of the trees and still be at the edge of the circle. That was perfect. Missy with a similar angle, also going to go up and over. A nice looking shot for Missy. And kind of what you were saying, Raven, where she catches the tree a little bit, but she's still inside the circle. A good start for our lead card here. And yeah, we saw a little bit of putting trouble on the first hole yesterday. We have three of the same ladies we got to watch yesterday. Lucky being our new addition for the final day. She's going to miss low. Missy, good height, but misses left, just tickling the chains a little bit. You can see the flag here. As Erica mentioned, today was the windiest of the three days. Good start from Own. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it didn't seem horrible, but like you didn't really have to think about it any of the other days. No, Today, nothing out of the ordinary did. for this time of year in Minnesota. However, it was pretty relaxed day one and two. <laughs> Missy grabbing the par here on the first hole. Holland's gonna tap in a birdie to get started. Yeah, immediately bring it down to one stroke. And lucky with the par. Checking in with Rebecca Cox here on Chase Card. Smooth drive on hole two. Tickles the bullseye whisker. Guessing that was a... That's a hard thing to say. Compass bullseye whisker? <laughs> <laughs> Tapping in the birdie for Rebecca Cox. Yeah, nice... Birdie there. She's at seven down. Only one stroke back of Lucky. Let's see her again on hole three. Going to push the right side. I think that's an evader inside the circle. A little bit of a tester putt here. And makes good on her putt. Back-to-back -back birdies. Holland able to gain one stroke on our leader on the first hole. I'm pumped. Oh, check out Kona Montgomery. Wasn't she on your card? She hit she was, two yeah. circle two putts like in the first yeah. three holes. It was beautiful. Yeah. She's just on fire. Pretty sweet. Hole two, par three, 280 feet. We just saw Rebecca Cox play this hole. If you have a straight flying mid, I think that's your go-to. Obviously, we'll see Own throw a little bit of a flex here, but... This shot is such a pretty flight if you just nail it. It's a double mando off the tee, but the only OB to deal with is way left side in the pond. You really only ever see it if you get a bad kick. Holland first on the tee, using the airspace that she has. Beautiful shot just outside the bullseye for a birdie. Yeah, that's really good. Obviously, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> sure? it's that same uh, ESP Challenger SS that she threw yesterday. I'm pretty sure. I like. I feel good about it. You know, <laughs> own overturning her shot there a little bit and catches the trees on the right side. Doesn't quite get halfway up the fairway. Missy going Z Swirl Undertaker today. Great flight out of Missy. 
Oh, yeah. Right Brilliant on that right up. side. Yeah, matching Holland's distance there. A little battle putt action. Mm -hmm. Lucky pushing the ceiling here a little bit too much, and she's going to end up maybe deep in circle two on the left side. Own with some work left here. I'm going to put it right at the bullseye, no problem. Lucky was a bit in her way, so she's just going to pitch up and take her par here. Very smart play, very smooth approach. Missy first up for her birdie opportunity. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. Holland aiming to match that birdie. Keep it within one. Can confirm. It was Can really good. Can confirm. <laughs> oh, and really taking her time getting up to this yeah. one. <laughs> I feel like we don't usually watch the whole walk. <laughs> That's going to be a par for own. It was a confident walk. Yeah. You know? No, I'm not saying I didn't like it. <laughs> More walking. <laughs> And Lucky tapping in her par. Her bag looks so fancy. It does. Like it looks even leather. fancier in person, yeah. if that's possible. <laughs> Missy and Holland both grabbing the birdie there, keeping that separation at one stroke. Hole three, we watched Rebecca Cox birdie this one earlier. It's a par three, 324 feet OB line that gets tighter as you get closer to the pin, getting even inside circle two. You gonna be careful not to land on this hillside with too much hyzer and speed because you can flare skip out. This is played as, if not the easiest, one of the easiest holes uh, every day. Um, it looks like Holland's gonna pull that one pretty far to the left, but it's a slower speed disc. It's going to check up before the out of bounds there. Def okay, it's not the easiest because I just remembered which one is, but it's easier, right? Well, today it was the easiest. Yay, <laughs> all right. Missy really pulling that one to the right. Kind of a uncharacteristic late release. Yeah, and it looks like she hit enough, but with how high the water is in the river, if she actually punched through, OB is possible. Yeah, that's which people have pretty much never seen here. Yeah, that's true. The Own river's a, right there. Yeah, yeah. Own with a great shot. She puts herself at the edge of the circle. I love that work in the right side. Yeah, just use the whole fairway. Lucky doing the same thing. She's going to fade just in time here and also be inside the circle looking at a birdie. So Missy was able to stay at least near the edge. Just a little bit of a standstill, patent pending. Smooth. Edge of the bullseye for her car. Holland hit quite a few long putts yesterday. Not gonna can this one. Guaranteeing a tap in par. Lucky for her first birdie of the round. Easy peasy. She and probably Kristen are my top choices for like that distance putt. Like ones that make <laughs> most people nervous, they never look nervous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're good for it every time. Very solid. Similar putting style too. Yeah. Own also carding the birdie here on the third. So a little flip-flop on our lead card. Holland and Missy gonna grab the par here while Lucky and Own will take the birdie. It's gonna take a huge push from Lucky or Own or anyone on Chase card to be in contention for the win here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if anyone can do it. Um, only what, we've seen a 10 down, a seven down, other than that, 
there hasn't been a whole lot of like anything better than five. Yeah. So that can shoot you way into the, the leaderboard. Not a lot of big numbers and curious to see how everyone approaches. Get your homing pigeon disc finder today because a disc in the hand is worth two in the bush. Hole four, par four, 675 feet off the tee. It makes you think you need to get all the way right, but if you push something straight past this first or second tree, you're lined up really nicely with this second tunnel. However, if you can turn it all the way over, get yourself close to the tree line, you're looking at a straight approach into the basket at maybe 200, 230 feet with a chance at that pretty. This has been one of the harder holes for our field and I don't really see that changing. Probably not. <laughs> it's a great birdie to get. On putting more turn on this than she did yesterday, it's gonna burn into the ground a little bit earlier than she would like to get the angle to attack. But I mean, she has that flex sidearm, so perhaps she'll get aggressive. Lucky also going for a turnover, not the full commitment to get on the side of the trees, I'm assuming by choice. Yeah. And she lines herself up with that fairway. However, these two trees on the left side do create a very low ceiling, so it's a tough shot. Holland with a ton of power and a lot of turn on this one. It's an ESP drive. <laughs> we saw her go long yeah. yesterday as well, and if if the footing's okay in the long grass, it allows her to actually hyzer through the tunnel. Which is so which is cool. so nice. Yeah. So much easier. Way easier. <laughs> <laughs> Missy working the turn with a thrasher here. Gonna get... Yeah, just past that last tree. She'll be a little pinched as she was yesterday throwing a turnover line. This is a tough angle. I think probably difficult to get past circle two from here. You know what I mean? To throw like the perfect oh, shot. I mean, that is a beautiful shot. But even with that, that's about as far as you can get. Yeah, and she's still, what, 80 feet? Yeah. Maybe more. I think more. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think she actually got out of the trees. Okay. Lucky throwing that kind of extra tunnel with those two trees actually catches the left side one and kicks two. I mean, it wasn't the best or the worst kick. <laughs> it's not great. No, but she's going to be cut off on that corner. Yeah. There is a sneaky way on the right side. Mm. Not easy by any means. Check out this angle. Oh, man. Last tree to beat. Still a beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. She has <laughs> that one tree. <laughs> Holland from a standstill. Yesterday we saw Holland in a similar position and she got caught up on the left side trees. Today she misses them, but it is a little bit low and she doesn't really get the ground play. Beautiful shot. Yeah, I mean, through Just, the gap, you'll take you it, know. but. So, oh man. Yeah, lucky. lucky trying to get through that spot. Gets a fun little skip, but does catch a tree in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, tough spot to be. Yeah, it was pretty well done. I mean, that gap was tiny. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna pitch up her third to the bullseye. This is lucky to save her par. Gets it just under the basket. Missy with not too much more than 80 feet. Lays that up under the basket. She'll take a par. Not when you're upset about getting par on, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, uh-huh. Holland from inside circle. Actually, still just outside, it looks like. There's the whisker. Gives it a good bid for that birdie look, and she's going to push to about 20 feet. Good bid and stayed pretty close. Respect. Makes good on her par putt.
I'm also going to take the par. This played as the fifth most difficult hole today with only one birdie being carded by Kona. Oh, nice. Wow, she got this one too. Yeah. Lucky going to card the first bogey of our lead group. Checking back in with Rebecca Cox ahead on the fifth. The next hole we're going to see very technical tunnel shot here. And look at this dead straight flight. Oh, wow. Base is it. the base. Looks like she got a bogey after those two birdies. Uh, interesting to not have a par through the first five holes. <laughs> those rounds are always like, man, what am I doing? What's happening? Am I on fire? <laughs> am I not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, keeping it tight. Yeah. Colin and Missy, one stroke apart. Lucky and Owen both at 10. And a bunch Anything of people at happen. eight. Yeah. yeah. Podium is not settled at all. <laughs> Hole five is a par three. We just saw 275 feet. I like that dead straight play we just saw from Rebecca. If you do that, though, this final tree is definitely in the way. You can push straight and then try to hyzer a little bit at the end. Um, you see all sorts of stuff. What you don't want to see is early. I think left is probably worse than right, but they're both horrible. Yeah. Just horrible. At least if you're early right, you're still open to the fairway. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Owen has thrown this destroyer so unbelievably well the last couple That's days. That's the and that tree. Was almost it. That's the tree. <laughs> She's still, it should be an easy par. Maybe she'll have a long obstructed look. Hall in second on the tee. Taking more of that hyzer route, my oh, preferred route, other than the the straight, I think you just take the trees out of play. Yeah, I think that's and you end up smarter. in the circle. Mm -hmm. But it it's nice that Holland can just throw a little putter shot there. Yeah, Missy going with the straight line does catch a tree, but kicks left toward the fairway. Maybe a circle two bid. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Beautiful shot from Lucky. That's great. Let's see. That feet. was a Pathfinder. Nice straight mid-range. So, Missy, just outside circle two. Gives it a go. Catches some leaves. Going to be another par. Door open for Holland to tie it up. Yeah, oh, not left with any kind of look there. It's going to be another par for her. Definitely a tester putt here. Oh, Beautiful. here we go. We're battling. It's happening. <laughs> Great putt from Holland. <laughs> Thanking the basket. And a great birdie from Lucky to get one under par. Owen is going to card the par, as does Missy. And we're all tied up. Mm-hmm. Within five holes. One more uh, really wooded hole to go, and then we get out to see some bombers. Honk. <laughs> Sorry, I could, I could not. <laughs> I was an adult habit, you know? <laughs> I, guess, I mean, I could croak if you want. <laughs> uh, but... Okay. Oh, it's, Hole, it's me. <laughs> Hole six, par five, 695 feet. Like I said, this is our last kind of fully wooded hole. You want to punch something straight up. If you can follow this path, you're going to be in really good position. A lot of players break it down to two main shots. Push it straight up the gut. Second shot puts you at the edge of this tunnel. Then your third shot, you're pumping something straight down the middle, maybe a mid-range, something you're not going to get a lot of left to right movement out of, and you're going to have a look at the birdie. However, if you're off on any of those, it becomes quite tricky. <laughs> Let's check back in with <laughs> Rebecca Cox. Um, she gets to that kind of same corner, just shy of uh, a straight look at the pin. Pretty aggressive here. Gonna leak left side. Ooh. Ooh, but on the edge? Yeah, good little kick. Really far up. Do it. Did she? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good effort. That's for sure 
like one of the best feelings throwing a little sidearm in like that. Yeah. Love Still no control. cars for Rebecca Cox. <laughs> <laughs> it's even pattern though. Holland got so far off this tee shot yesterday with this titanium undertaker that she was attacking for Eagle. This looks pretty dang good as well. It's fading a little bit more to the left than her shot yesterday, but so far. Besides being up against that tree, yeah. she's in such a good spot. Like she can like go her pitch angle. pitch for birdie. She could. You know. Lucky working on the right Come side on. with a flip up. Oh, that looks pretty. good. Just dig. That's great. Again, just pinned Find up on one tree, tree, but <laughs> plenty of distance. That's Yeah, they're both going to be almost looking down the tunnel and not having to do anything crazy with a turnover or mm -hmm. forehand or anything like that. Own with a rock three, taking a little distance off, landing in the center. You can still get a birdie with that play. Yeah, that's the beauty of this hole is that you don't need the distance mm -hmm. off the tee. Just need a lot of accuracy. Missy leaking to the right a little bit. See if she can get through everything. Not quite. Not quite. It can be pretty bad in there. Sometimes you just have to pitch out. It's pretty difficult to get to the corner. Yeah. Speaking of the corner, Owen's just going to throw a forehand here. And you just don't want to push deep too far yeah. like that. Justin, <laughs> Shout out to my husband, Justin. I love you, baby. Uh huh. <laughs> Missy kind of stuck between some trees here, but that wow. is a beautiful shot. You can see that tee pad that she just flew by. It's part of the Red Fox layout, which is what these two holes are a part of at the preserve when we're not playing the Black Bear. Yeah, impressive that she's able to keep Birdie in play from that right side. Yeah. Lucky going to saw off a forehand. She's going to get past that first layer of trees, but who knows what's in there. <laughs> and you see Holland pushed too close to that tree for a run up. Forehand, just hugging the right side of the fairway. Not bad. But again, she's still very far up for two shots. Mm -hmm. Missy lined up to attack probably just under 200 feet or maybe right at that mark. What do you think? I think maybe just over. Okay. Yeah. Behind that tee pad. Um, makes it most of the way down the tunnel, but not quite. I'm not sure if she's in circle two. Own having to just pitch up and around the corner, looking at a par. You'll see a lot of patent pendings and step off forehands on this hole. Yeah, and a lot of playing from one side to the other side. Yes. Yeah. A little ping pong back and forth. Mm. Own approaching the basket, leaks it left, but, you know, it's fine. Own distance. I mean, everybody's distance. That was in circle. <laughs> Who am I yes. kidding? <laughs> <laughs> FPO distance? FPO distance. Yeah. Holland with the forehand into the green, and this time it's a good tree. And looking at taking the outright lead, unless Missy can make a huge putt. Ooh. Ha, <laughs> I like the effort from Lucky there, going for the birdie from distance. Okay. All right, Missy range just inside circle two. Oh, <laughs> that looked good. <laughs> yeah, kind of like you said, the fact that Missy was early right side and then still had a birdie look from the fairway like yeah. that is quite impressive. Man, after all, it's because we talked so much about it. it made it weird. I'm missing that putt. It's going to be a bogey. <laughs> She's human. <laughs> Who would have thought? Holland for the birdie to take the lead by one stroke. Missy carding the par. Owen going to take a bogey here on the sixth. And lucky for the par. This was, what, the seventh hardest hole today? Maybe, and 12 birdies. Are you asking me as a question? Those I'm are pretty both, sure those, those are, are both, both right. right. Yeah. Well, 
We'll take another birdie, right? Be kind of mean if they showed us a bogey. Uh, you, they do sometimes. It's not every time it's good. Well, don't do that to me, though. Hey. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> My heart can only take so much. <laughs> Rebecca with a turkey there to move three down on the round. We'll see our first swap of the round. Beautiful. If disc golf is your game, make Gotta Go Gotta Throw your disc golf warehouse with a huge selection of discs, bags, baskets, carts, and more. Everything you need for the game you love. Online or at our Minnesota store. Gotta Go Gotta Throw.com, your disc golf warehouse. Well, seven's a par three, 330 feet. We just watched Rebecca birdie it, and let's see if our lead card can get it. Um, a little bit uphill. A lot of women push kind of the right side of this fairway and then just fade in right at the end to get a circle one look. Uh, a lot of times if you throw straight at the pin, you end up kind of in those left side trees left with some tricky putting. No out of bounds, but hasn't played particularly easy despite the distance. Holland up first. We kind of saw her make this mistake the other day, yeah. pulling it right, and that is a really hard spot to be. She's in much deeper on the right side than she was yesterday. It was an easy scramble before, but I think now that's going to be really tough. Yeah, the rough is thick. Lucky kind of following her, unless this has the stability. Almost. She's in a much better spot, I think, long, um, just outside circle two, maybe. Missy with the door open here. She is really good at these tight shots. Doesn't necessarily have to work a flex line. Pushes Looks the like right. she is a little bit. Oh, a little nudge from the vine. Oh, but yeah, Missy is that's inside great. the circle for birdie. Was this one windy? I think this a one often bit. is on the yeah. tee, but you can't always tell which no, direction. that's the thing. You don't really feel the wind until after you pass the rock mm -hmm. and get by the ditch. Then you're like, oh, that's why my disc carried to the right. Oh. Yeah. Everyone on our card. Pulling it over pulling there. Pulling it a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, Missy's got through, but she still looked like she went a little more right than... Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, if it was the wind. kind of looks like it based off those little fluffs. Oh, our summer snow? Yeah. <laughs> Is fluffs not the correct term? Oh, no, they're fluffs for okay. sure. I just... Makes uh, it look like it's snowing. <laughs> Lucky actually filtered through quite a bit. Gives it a run, leaves it a little bit low and right. Look how far Holland got through. That's, I wonder if wow. they were looking for a while because like that. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, oh that would have been a cool birdie. I mean, that is unlikely for her to punch. Look at, look at what's behind her. Like, <laughs> come yeah. on. No, I, no. Missy to tie it back up. I wouldn't have bet that. Okay. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. It, 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 we're watching it happen. Oh, man. And a nice summer snow to boot. Some, to boot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to love disc golf. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's a par for Lucky. Good putt for the comeback. And we're getting far enough in the round that it does seem to be kind of a separate race for first and third. Definitely. Um, I mean, someone could always, you know, pop off. You never know, but shaping up pretty nice here, folks. Missy. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Missy tied it. Oh, you do it. You do it. You do it. <laughs> Missy tied it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the lean away. Oh, no. <laughs> Hole eight, par four, 660 feet. You have your OB pond on the left side. The right side is safe, but it is prickly. Most players are just pumping something as far as they can, staying safe. And then if you are brave enough to get to the left side, you can try and cut the corner on your second shot. But even with the big distance throwers, you're still pushing a hyzer, sometimes close to 400 feet to try and get into this circle. It's a tough birdie to get, but we've seen a few. Yeah, not too many. I think there were three yesterday um, and four the day before. It's just one. I talked to the spotter on this hole, and she was saying that the FPO is playing this one pretty conservatively. It's just not one for most of the field that's worth the risk. Yeah. 
and even the quote unquote risky shots, they're playing the skip into the basket. Yeah, where you for sure. Play it wide and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Holland, one of the few in our field able to really attack this one. She did get it in day one. Lucky work in the right side with an emperor getting some fade. And that's going to be just fine. Owen's been playing this one for par every day. Um, second shot's been... Again, just not messing with it. That one's a little closer to the OB than she has been in like a positive way. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it a little easier. <laughs> but yeah, she's been just pushing it really straight. Even for some of our top throwers, unless you're getting close to the corner and close to the water, it's just such a, like a tough shot to go over. Mm -hmm. The The OB is within, what, 25 feet so of the basket? So close, yep. Lucky working it out to the right, really safe on a nice turned angle, making sure she's not messing with the water. What do you think? Line it up? It's no, pretty far. I mean, she's <laughs> playing smart. Yeah. I feel like a, this, this is like an in-between, you know, like a aggressive layup. Give yeah. yourself a really long look. Puts herself at 100. Like, yeah. I want to run it. Yeah. Why not? She, she could. I mean, there is water, but I think her angle's okay. Holland looking for to take sure the lead gonna back. Go for it. Yeah. How far do you think she is from here, though? 427. Oh, really? That far? Oh, I think like I three, <laughs> three, three fifty. <laughs> Whatever it is, she's parked. I actually have no idea. Yeah. I've, I've never been right there. Yeah. I mean, it looked pretty <laughs> close, but I mean, it was a pretty. Pretty good rip still. I mean, look at how, no, how she's, far she's this probably is. probably maybe like 380. Okay, yeah. I'll agree with you. <laughs> a good shot from Owen, too, to park herself for a par. Lucky pulls Ooh. this one pretty hard to the right. Ooh, misfire. Yeah. Not going to be the putt she wants for par. Yeah, see? Saucy little layup from Missy. She's thinking about it. Dealing with a left to right wind here. Gives it some nice height. Some nice height on that kick, too. I like that. You can see the wind coming off the pond here. I think Lucky's looking right into it. Sure looks like it. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. Definitely that's is. A pretty ripping Ooh. head when I like how she... Man, she looked like Her she played it just right. so oh. good. Like, it handles the wind really well. Mm -hmm. I think she was just trying to use the wind, too, and almost does it. Holland for birdie. Oh, oh man. Oh, I would have been upset, too. <sighs> Good. Okay, I'm glad this is a, a no mez. Ouch. Just absolutely perfect. Mm. What, what? Yeah, you hate to see it. <laughs> well, it wasn't even like that hard of a no. Putt, it wasn't you know? like too aggressive, mm -hmm. or anything like that. Um, the hole itself doesn't play difficult because most of the field goes for par, but it is difficult. It's one of the um, least birdied holes. Yeah, there were only there were four birdies today. Should have been five, as mm -hmm. we just saw. But Aliyah Ra, Ella Hansen, Emily Beach, and Paige Pierce. So some big throwers. <laughs> some big throwers. And an oddly dramatic tie at the top after that spit out. Holland with the hot round, four down through eight. Wrapping it up, hole nine is a par three, 297 feet. Every lady in the field wants to get this one. You're looking right at it. Um, most women gonna kind of push the right, either throw, th eh, throw straight at it or push the right side a little bit and fade in towards the pin. The water's obviously out of bounds. There's a drop zone if you don't land safe off the tee. Is it mandatory drop zone? Yes. Yeah. Haven't really seen that be a problem, but uh, you never know. True. <laughs> Missy doing that second play I was talking about where you kind of push this right side and doesn't quite get lucky through it, but bounces back and might have a putt. It's gonna be a low putt. Just gonna have to hunker down. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Holland with the direct line at it here. You just gonna? Ooh. <laughs> Gorgeous that looks shot. So good out of her hand. Sounds like it looked really good from their <laughs> perspective. Uh, Z swirl buzz from Holland parked. I can just think, like, hear her being like, well, if they're not going to give me the birdie on the last hole, I'm going to yeah. take an ace on this hole. Uh, just going to take the putt right out of it, pretty much. <laughs> Own with the flex, always. She'll be putting for a birdie. Lucky at even par, looking to get back under par for the front nine. She's going T-Bird here, so she should get some nice fade. And not quite enough ground play to get inside the circle, but she will have an attempt here for a birdie. Lucky up first, just outside the circle. Leaves it high right. She's going to be behind that tree, but should just be a step out. Yeah, she's hunkering. I'm telling you. I see it. Uh, yeah, the, not the branches able. are just hanging so low comparatively to previous years. It's a tough putt. And those are always so frustrating because you're like, oh, I'm this close, and there's that branch. There's only <laughs> so much you can hunker, you know? Yeah, it's true. I like that Owen just watched that one <laughs> after seeing Holland's, like, you stay in there. Nice birdie from Owen. She's going to move to two under par on the front nine. <laughs> and then we got another point from Holland. <laughs> Stay in there. I love that. Give those baskets are talking too. Holland moving to five under and takes the solo lead through the front nine. Oh, dang. Low cage hit for Lucky. Missy going to tap in her par and a bogey, unfortunately, for Lucky to wrap up our front nine. Mm-hmm. We did it. We did it. Still more work to do. Nine holes left on Championship Sunday. Holland Hanley taking the lead, overcoming that two-stroke deficit. Missy Gannon still in the hunt. Look at Rebecca Cox, three yeah. down through nine, jumping into a tie for third with Own. She Lucky. might have gotten a par. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, uh, it's a good question. Lucky going to slide down to fifth with that plus one. Um, Kona having a good round. Yeah. Valerie Mondujano also having a solid round. Both just playing very clean, mm -hmm. getting the birdies where they come, and just no unnecessary mistakes. So Love that. That's the best. <laughs> we have nine more holes. It's a nice sunny day, and uh, a lot of excitement for, uh, for the win and for the third place finish. I mean, Yeah, I'm who knows? curious who's going to actually finish out strong. A lot can happen on these holes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And I'm Raymond Klein. 